we are back, so let's get started. Alright, let's get started. Now, I will get, like with the trailers, I will get a link to those in the description for all the new costumes. So, we just got done rating the Smash Ultimate reveal trailers. Now we're going to rate the reveals of the Mii costumes. So, let's start with round one. So, I believe round one was around the time of Persona? Yeah, it was around the time of Persona. Morgana. Just a Morgana hat. Persona 4. Yu Narakami from uh, Persona 4. I don't know why it says Persona 4 protagonist. Then there's Tony from Persona 4. Persona 3. Forget the name of this protagonist. But these costumes are good. Of course, Sonic the Hedgehog costume. Sadly, no chaos to blaze. I'm a little sad guy. Okay, so round one costumes. Solid eight. We'll get we'll give them a solid eight. Solid eight for round one. Solid eight for round one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're already aware of how much they cost, and pretty much people already own them by now. Next round. Round two. Dragon Quest. Veronica from uh, Dragon Quest. Okay. Another Dragon Quest skin. This one is, uh, Edric. Martial Artist. Definitely heavily, heavy vibes from Dragon Ball. And the Slime Hat. I guess that's another. I guess that's a seven. That's a seven out of ten. Next round three. I think this was for Banjo Kazooie at the time. I think Mystical Ninja starring Doraemon. I. Okay, that one I'm I'm familiar with. I have never played it. Then we've got a Mega Man costume. The Proto Man. Even though Proto Man's part of Final Smash. Another Mega Man costume, this time Zero. Oh yeah, this is the one, you're about to witness the one character that got memed in here. Not these guys. You'll, you'll see who I mean. That's right, Sans. Blew everyone's minds out of the water. I don't think anybody was expecting Sans to get in the Smash, let alone a meek Austin. So, yeah, uh, surprisingly no banjo theme costumes for this one. 
But yeah, Sans was the special one that included a bonus track, so I'm gonna give that one a, uh, I'm gonna give that one a 10. That one's gonna be a solid 10, even though Sans was memed into the game regardless. Next, okay, next round. Round three was a 10. Rounds one and two were eights. All right, round four, give it to me. Oh, uh, what's her face from uh, Samurai Showdown? Yep. Nokururu from uh, Samurai Showdown. It, it's been a while since I played some of these SNK games. Art of Fighting, the Rio costume, I presume. Yep. Rio Sakazaki. What's shocking is there's no beast costume. King of Fighters, my boy Yori, even though I'm a little sad he's not a char playable character, but he is in the stage background and he is a costume, so I'll let it slide. Virtua Fighter. Okay, that's essentially the same costume as before. And Jackie, that's the same costume as before. Mm. That one's gonna have to be a 9. I don't think there's gonna be probably 12 or 13s in this, but I think that one's gonna be a 9. 9 out of 10 for round 4. 9 out of 10 for round 4. Round 5, let's go. Oh yeah! Oh Pierre! Oh yeah, because the US had a weird way of labeling shit. I, for I forgot, the US had a weird way of labeling stuff. Because in the US, it says Altair, but in. for like. the thing, but in other regions, it's act the actual game. But yet, what's even more funny is this is the only game that they did not milk Ezio in. Of course, it's the rabbits. Why am I not surprised? You'd think they would have revealed an Ubisoft rep. I think this. Oh, yeah, this is around the Bylet reveal. Mega Man X. So, what else? Oh yeah! Mega Man Battle Network. Mega Man X is running. I like that. I didn't mind that game series. I actually liked it. Oh yeah! Well, we found ourselves another 10 in the meat costumes because they just revealed one that actually... ...brought Cuphead along with the music track. That just shows you something. So yeah, another solid 10. You know what, screw it. We'll give it an extra bonus point. A bonus point for them not milking Ezio, so 11 out of 10. Round 5, 11 out of 10 for the new costumes. So... Round 6. What do we got? This is for the, uh, the Min Min reveal, yes? Yep. Ninja. Some, uh, arms. Not bad. Not bad. There's, and this is why Hayaki was deconfirmed. One of the few other reasons why Hayaki was deconfirmed. Not just because he's a stage background, but he's also a neat costume. And the tragic fact that Hayaki 
voice actor. The guy who voiced Jones the Joestar in parts 3, 4, and 5, I think. I think part 5, but correct me if I'm wrong, and Jojo fans. The voice actor who voiced Joseph Joestar and Heiachi tragically passed away around the time of Tekken 7. So Heiachi... Plus, I think Sakurai couldn't get Heiachi's moves to work. That and Heiachi was already in the fighting game called PlayStation All-Stars. Uh, Splatoon's game. And this is for Splatoon. Callie and Marie. I don't know why Callie's a brawler. Shouldn't they both be gunners? That's a little weird. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we found ourselves another 10 out of 10. But, wait. The Fallout one doesn't come with the music, so like... I will give it a 10 out of 10 just because it's a deluxe costume. Just like how Sans... Either if it comes with bonus music, if it comes... If it's like a deluxe costume... Then I'll be okay with it. So, so far we got three 10 out of 10s already. We already got three 10 out of 10s already. So that's a that's a that's a fascinating start. Next, sadly didn't include Doom music when they did Doom Slayer, but you'll see that in a moment. Now for round seven. The Minecraft? Why? I thought creep I thought this would be revealed around Steve. Oh wait, no. Last one was Min Min. This one's Steve. The pig. The diamond armor. Draga. Jill. Don't remember that game too well. Bomberman. Okay, at least it's a deluxe costume. I will give that one the benefit of the doubt. Now, the tragic deconfirmation of Travis. It actually says no more hairs. I would have been okay if Travis was in the game, but they didn't bring him in. But, hey, we got ourselves another 10 out of 10 because with deluxe costumes. Two deluxe costumes gave you an extra point being an 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. We're getting, we, got, we did get some pretty good costumes for this. Okay, so next. I think this is the Sephiroth one. This is the one where they deconfirmed a character that people were hoping for. There's Barret. Tifa. Barret's literally a gunner and Tifa's a crawler. I'll pick one. I guess that's a. I guess I can. And then there's Tifa. I'll pick Roller. Sad there's no Tifa hair. Aerith outfit. Sword fighter. Weird she's using the staff as a sword. And the. Oh. The return of the Chocobos. Chocobo hats. And the sad deconfirmation of Gino, who isn't a deluxe costume. Pretty much, pretty much for the Gino fans, it was like, 
Oh, you want a Gino? Here, have this Smash 4 costume of Gino. You wanted a deluxe? Nope, sorry, fuck you. That's that's essentially what that that was to the Gino fans. Well, I may not have played Super Mario RPG, but I've, I've seen a goofy, funny animation for it. Well, it's not really an animation, it's just a goofy playthrough slash hybrid animation hybrid of the game based around Family Guy characters, and it was funny as heck. But yeah, this one, while there's not really a whole lot of deluxe costumes in this one, this one's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give this one a 9. As much as I love Final Fantasy, this one has to get a 9. Surprise, surprisingly enough. But this one's a 9 out of 10. Round 9. This one's for, uh, around the time of Pirate Metro, right? Uh, let me guess, Monster Hunter armor? Yep, the Monster Hunter armors. Hunter equipment. Rathalos equipment. Feline. Cat. They made it a little more derpier than normal. It's a little sad that they made it derpy. Ghosts and goblins. Arthur. I guess it's a the it's not bad. It's kind of sad we didn't get any music with this. I don't think we got music for the other pack either. So, that one's also gonna have to be a 9. That one's gonna have to be a 9. Now for... Pack 10. The one that gave me the heartbreak. Lloyd. Okay, here's what's funny. When it came to this, I thought it was just gonna be, oh, Namco skins. Like, we're gonna get a God Eater skin pack, a freaking... Code Vein skin pack, whatever. Anything Namco based. Hell, we could have got Dark Souls skins or whatever, but we didn't. Instead, there's only one Namco skin. Being Lord. And then we got Dover King. But, oh. Oh, oh, I see. I see. So, certain games only got this treatment. I guess only in Japan it said Skyrim. But in this it says... Dr in the US, in the UK, in certain regions it says certain things, in other regions it says other things. So in this one it actually just says Dragonborn. Then my heart strings start to shatter. The deep confirmation of Dante doesn't take down my cry, unfortunately. It didn't even include a track for the game either, which made me sad, but this next one will. This is where my heart just shattered. But because it included a song, this gets a 10 out of 10 regardless. As much as it, my heartstrings were hurt this day when they revealed these costumes. I will give this one a 10 out of 10 just because it comes with a track. I think there was only one 11 so far. Now for the final me costume pack, which shockingly there was only three, which was really weird. I was hoping there would be more. Like they could have finished off with the Bane had Crash in there, had uh, the 
Aqualine hats. Kinda makes me sad that it's not. Kinda makes me sad that it's not a deluxe costume. Of course, there's Judd. A Judd hat. Now comes the deconfirmation that I was expecting. Deluxe costume, I'll give it an exception this time. You know there's only three. A ten. This one gets a ten. Even though it didn't come with the music though. I was kind of a little disappointed that it didn't come with music. I would have loved the battle to someone that E1N1, but now I have to actually manually do it because people apparently didn't realize, oh, there's music to Doom, you need to actually include the music because you are stupid. But anyways, that was that was all the Mean Fighter costumes. Uh, what can I say about it? Uh, what can I say about this one? Um, other than the me costumes, they're decent. So we had a lot of tens. We had a lot of uh, we had like only one eleven out of eleven. I think it's because. There was like, what, two? There was like two deluxe costumes? Or so, um, somewhere along the lines? Yeah, it was two deluxe costumes. But anyways, that's it. That's all the Smash trailers. That's that's all of them. That's all the me costumes. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this. Uh, I sure did. As for rating the Final Smash for this game, I'll probably do it later. If you really want me to go back and rate the trailers for the older games, eh, let me know too. But other than that, I'll be back later, hopefully, to do Halo. So, yeah, that this was a lot of fun. This this was definitely a lot of fun. Re revisiting all those trailers and everything. It actually gave me a sense to actually come back. It, and see those trailers again. So I'll be back with some Halo later. So till then, uh, after next week, sign off. I'll see you in the next stream.